Peace. I want to talk about emasculation real quick because a lot of times I hear brothers talking about how they being emasculated, whether it's by society, their woman, their partners, etc. Right? So let's get this clear. To, to be emasculated means to be castrated, to be neutered, right? To like actually have your sexual organs removed. That's literally what it means. And on the other hand, um, it means for you as a man to be to be made to feel as if you are less masculine or less than a man, right? So my question is like. How can anybody, especially women, right? How can anybody make you feel less than a man? I don't I really don't understand that. When I hear a lot of brothers say like I'm being emasculated, um, I I really don't understand like what are you talking about, right? Because in order for you to be emasculated, something physically has to be done to you. Something physically, like when when a man, when one man subdues another man, when he overpowers him, right? Or when maybe uh, uh, S A, take you know what S A is, um, um, takes place. I could understand in that sense because it's something that is being done to you, right? Um, physically, in a certain sense, right? Like you're being overpowered. I understand it, but in a lot of the cases that these brothers are talking about, it, it's it's just about their feelings. They feel because somebody said something, because somebody shit talked you, because somebody told you you was less than a man and it hurt your feelings. So when I hear brothers say that, it clearly communicates to me that those brothers are struggling in their masculinity. Because let me let you know this real quick, right? It don't matter how much money I got in my pocket, I'm still a man. You cannot make me feel like less than a man because I don't have a certain amount of riches, because I don't have a certain amount of accomplishments, or because some woman... Or, or some man said, I'm not a man because X, Y, Z. Or I'm not a man because I haven't done this. Or I'm not a man because I don't get a lot of chicks. Or I'm not a man. Whatever they're saying out there that makes you a man. And you sit there and you buy it and you believe it. And then you be walking around here butt hurt and, and oh, they're trying to be emasculating me. Like, you need to snap out of it. Can nobody take that away from you? Right? Like I just explained to you. Can nobody be able to just say something or, or, and even if somebody tries to physically do something, so you have the, you should have the capabilities to defend yourself. And even if that moment you, you know, you lose a fight or you lose whatever you lose, you, you have the ability, you should have the ability to, to return and restore your honor, right? So this whole notion of like, they emasculated me. It's like, where is this coming from? Right, because we as men are starting to live in the I feel, I feel like this, I feel like that, and a lot of times these are men that are raised by single mothers, and I ain't trying to shoot sh shit on the mothers because I was raised by a single mother too. But I understand that when you're raised by a single mom, you're gonna struggle more than 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 the men that had like other male figures in their lives um, to be masculine, to understand what it means, what manhood, what it means to be a man, right? To to navigate manhood, I understand that. So I'm just trying to make this video to kind of like encourage brothers that like, if you feel like somebody can emasculate you, especially women, right? Because they, they're the the weaker other half of us, right? So if you sit here saying that women are emasculating you, like you need to check yourself seriously, right? It's not it's not just about women. I'm just saying, especially women. If you sit here talking about some woman is emasculating you, you have some serious serious reflecting to do. And masculinity work to do. That goes for men too. You should not be walking around here talking about some man emasculated you, homie. You should not. You shouldn't. So, we got to get it together, man. We got to get it together. I get it. We navigating this world. We're trying to figure out what it means to be masculine, what it means to be a man. We grew up with a lot of false notions of masculinity in, our, in some of our communities, right? Uh, we've been told whoever got the most money, whoever got the most girls, whoever beat up the most dudes, all these false notions, right, of, of, of what it means to be masculine. So now we grow up with, with, with this internalized stuff and we chase some of these things. Um, and then we wonder why we still struggle um, to keep women. We still struggle to get respect from men. We still struggle to just get what we thought we was going to get if we achieve certain success, if we, if, if, if we got the most women, if we got certain things, right? So... We still got a lot of work to do. But can nobody take that from you? You should you should be comfortable enough in your square, right? To be secure in yourself to know that can nobody take that from you.
right? Nobody should be able to take that from you. So we got some work to do, brothers. Peace.